Hi. I just wanted to share a thought. Um, this past weekend when I was with my personal trainer, she's like, bring your iPod. It's going to be more fun when you're running around the track and when you're doing all the exercises. And naturally, I had to put on Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> it cracks me up. But oh my God, what a difference it makes when you're in sync with the music and really enjoying, you know, the, the exercise and, you know, how much faster you can go through it. And you don't really feel the pain. Of course, I had Rocky. Strainer in my head, no pain, no pain. But I mean, it just cracks me up. But again, it goes back to all the mental images, everything you have to keep in your mind just to keep going and keep going. And that's what it comes down to when you're trying to keep your team running to the finish line and that's pretty much what I wanted to cover this morning was that um, whenever you're you're looking for ways like how to get everybody back on the same page again I just wanted to share one exercise that I've done personally um, one is with um, these happy faces I which I brought it with me but since we're already recording I'm gonna go ahead and jump to it I actually brought these bracelets that you know like what you see at a club like if you're VIP or whatever or maybe not now but I remember back in the 90s that's how it was um, what the difference is that it had like these literally like these smiley faces on there and it was where everyone had to keep it on their right wrist and by having it on your right wrist that means that you're now in the right frame of thinking is what I call it and the person who gave me this inspiration was actually a pastor in which he was uh, pushing this campaign called no complaining and so what I was enforcing amongst everyone was that for today, we are going to not think anything negative and we're not going to complain about whatever's frustrating us in the process. It, may it be a client, may it be a, you know, a colleague, may it be me, whatever. No negative thinking so that we are continuously in the, in the positive thought. So anytime you had a negative thought, you had to move the bracelet over to your left. Again, I didn't invent this. This was, again, by a pastor, but I felt incorporating it into a business was just perfect. So another exercise that I had done, too, that I saw was very effective and where you could just boom, feel like just the whole energy and the move just make this huge shift was, um, I call it, we will rock this. Same song like, we will, we will rock you. So I had everyone just pounding on the conference table. And as everyone was going around the room, you know, you had to express whatever bo bothers you. Like if it's, you know, if you're in the client service department, all the things you've got to deal with being in the client department area. Um, you just talk about, you know, all the things that you have to go through on a daily basis um, within your uh, respective division slash job position and at the end instead of we will rock you we will rock this we will rock this company to take it to the next level and by having everyone express what they're going through the whole thing was about listen everyone respectively has to deal with their own issues in their job and the fact that you're coming in you know that you need to get this done you need to get that done having that empathy where you know, we're all on the same page here when it comes to trying to get things done and that we're not trying to make feel like you're in the back burner. But at the end, it's making one everyone feel that we are together in trying to move forward and getting this done. So we need to be together as a team where we need to back each other up. Um, we need to, the, the main concept here with that exercise was allowing everyone to see what the other person is going through and that whatever you're depending on them to get done it's not that it's in the back burner they're also going through the day-to-day -day stuff that's putting them to to make it difficult to to execute and um, it's it's not about that being the excuse it's it's the fact that there is a lot to get done and at the same time um, of course reminding each other, hey, you know, this needs to get done as well. Let's stay on top of each other. Let's work together as a team. Let's not argue our way to get there. I mean, um, I mean arguing can be good as well, but again, it has to be in a way where everyone's moving forward. So what I'm getting at is that as a family, you know, we need to stick by each other in order to get to the finish line rather than against each other.